Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. Let's look at some trendy, affordable items at Nordstrom Rack. First, we have this Michael Kors packable hooded down jacket. So this is basically like a puffer jacket, but it's not super puffy, but it does have that quilted look to it. It also has the hood, which I think is detachable. And then it also has the extra kind of like turtleneck style lining inside for, I guess, some additional coverage, additional warmth, if that's something that you're looking for. But this is a really nice, simplistic jacket. It's easy. It's going to be a go-to. It's definitely trendy and it's affordable. This comes in four separate colors. This comes in black, gray, navy, and a red color. All really nice, really nice thick zipper down the front, pockets on each side. And then if you look at the back of the jacket, you can see how it has that just continued uh, quilting pattern down the back. And you can see how the hood lays if you have the hood attached. You can, I think, take this hood off. So if you just wanted the jacket with the turtleneck, I'm calling it a turtleneck, underneath, you could definitely wear it that way. And this one is, let's see, $80. And everything that I mentioned, as always, will be linked down below in the description box. So if you see something you like, you can always scroll down there, click the link and it will take you over to the item. So we have another Michael Kors jacket. This one is called the Michael Kors Faux Fur Trim Water Resisted Hooded Quilted Three Quarter Jacket. Whew. So basically a quilted jacket with the faux fur around the hood is what it is. So this is gonna give you the same kind of look as the puffer jacket we looked at earlier, but this one has a little bit of a sheen to it and it's kind of like giving faux leather a little bit. So it's long sleeve, of course. What I like is it has the cuffs on the hand. If you look, you'll see it. It has that sleeve where you can put your thumb through. I love that. It keeps everything in place and it's another layer of warmth if you're in the colder climates. This has the faux fur, which is also, again, going to give you more warmth. You could put that on, take it off. It's got the nice thick zipper down the front, as did the other jacket. And I like the length on this one as well. This one's going to hit you depending on how tall you are, maybe like mid thigh, but it's something that's going to cover you down like past your butt. So it's a nice, decent coverage jacket. It's not going to be anything that's cropped or that's shorter or that might hit you at the top of your jeans, this is definitely gonna go down farther than that. So this one is really nice. This one comes in black and olive. And in the back, it does have a little bit of detailing, like it has the gold buttons. And in the front, you'll see a little bit of that gold as well, which just matches with the gold on the zipper. So really nice. This jacket is $90. So again, affordable and at Nordstrom Rack, which is easy access for mostly everyone. Next, we have the Sam Edelman Leon booty, I think that's what it's called. This one is $100. Again, will be linked down, linked down below. Just a nice staple booty. It comes in two colors in this kind of nude, neutral, light camel color. And then it also comes in, oh, three colors, sorry. It also comes in olive, and then it also comes in black. And this has just got the one simple zipper right up the front of the shoe. It's not anything super high. You can see the heel is not anything high either and it's not like a chunky sole so if that's not your thing this may be something that you lean toward more it does have a little bit of uh give around the ankle as you can see on the boot it's more structured on the rest of the boot and then right at the top where you're going to put your foot in and then the boot's going to land on your ankle you do have a little more play there just because of the material that the material that they chose but this is a really nice simple boot this is going to be one of those like you can always grab this boot and go especially if you get it in the black it's going to go with everything you could wear this with leggings you could also throw it on with a pair of jeans you could wear it with skinny jeans and you could wear it with wide leg jeans just because of the way it's going to fit at the ankle so another really nice choice um i think i said it this one is 100 dollars Next, we have a sock booty, and this one is heeled. So this is the Steve Madden Dara Point Toe Sock Booty. It comes in black, blue, like a baby blue, like a powder blue, and then like a really light nude color. But this one I like because it's simplistic. It is a sock booty, so you're gonna get that whole effect, and it does have a heel. But that's pretty much all there is to the shoe. Real simple lines, real easy, and if you were to go with something like the black, you can't even tell that it has the texture that it has, but this is gonna be one of those boots that fits your leg really nice because it's a sock booty. So if you put it on, it's going to cling to your ankle. So if that's the look you're going for, this is definitely the option you wanna choose, like a sock booty like this, because it's gonna give you that effect. 
This one is, let me see, $70. And let me see, I think this heel is like four and a half inches. So if heels are okay for you, good to go. If not, check out some of the other options, but this is gonna be a staple as well. Always could wear black. You can always wear that new color. And for me with the blue, I always think of like denim because you can always pair that with denim and make it work. Okay, next let's look at some sunglasses. We have looked at jackets. We've looked at a couple pair of boots. So let's look at some accessories. The first pair of sunglasses that I have here is called the Salvatore, oh my God, Salvatore Ferragamo, Ferragamo sunglasses. That's what I'm trying to get out of my mouth. <laughs> Ferragamo sunglasses. They are called, oh child, no, I can't. 61 millimeter butterfly sunglasses. It's another name in there, but we're not doing that today. So these um, are $80. And I've said this before, but Nordstrom Rack and Saks Off Fifth have some of the best designer glasses at really good prices. They don't tend to have things that are extremely, extremely trendy from the designer houses, but they will have the really nice quality sunglasses and they will be affordable. So this pair is $80. It comes in three different colors. It has like a, this is like a brownish color that I see here first, then a black, kind of like a smoke black color. And then what else here? Oh, those are the only two in that style, my bad. So brown and black. I think this is a pair of sunglasses where you get both pairs because you're always gonna wear brown, you're always gonna wear black, so it works. But these are really, really nice. I like the frames on them. They have a little bit of like an architectural type of design to them, but again, not anything too, too extreme that will put, be off-putting for some people. And then at the same time, it has enough of a trendiness to it so that it's not just a plain pair of sunglasses that you feel you're overpaying for, for no reason. Okay, next up, sticking with sunglasses, we have a pair of Dolce & Gabbana sunglasses. These are 50 millimeter round sunglasses. That's the description that they gave. I know it sounds really generic, but that's all I got. Um, ain't got no more. <laughs> so these are black and they have a little bit of like, uh, what do I wanna say, gradient on the lens. It's really, really slight, but if you look closely, you can see it. Again, black is always like a no brainer because you can always wear black. I do like the roundness of these sunglasses and I like how big they are. Um, this is trendy, I like it, it's affordable. If it's not your thing, there's lots of other options, but for the sake of this video, I really like it. And then it has the thin gold, um, the thin gold frame and the thin gold, I don't know what you call the piece that goes around your ear, but yeah, that. And these are $120. And if you know anything about sunglasses and Dolce & Gabbana, $120 for these is really, really good. So one more pair of sunglasses that I wanna talk about. These are Fendi, and these are called Special Fit Cat Eye Sunglasses. These are also $120, the same as the last pair we just looked at from Dolce & Gabbana. These I like because they're neutral. They're light, they look like they feel light, but when I say light specifically here, I'm talking about the color palette that they chose. You have a real nice light neutral um, frame to them. And then you have a little bit of the brown and the darkness on the lens that you could play up. These actually would look really nice paired with those Steve Madden sock booties, the lighter colored sock booties that we looked at earlier. That would be really nice if you were doing like a monochromatic look or even if you had like denim and then you had those booties on and these sunglasses, that would be really, really pretty. If you look at the earpiece, it does have a little bit of dark brown to it and I think that plays well with the dark brown you see in the lens. So it gives you this kind of neutral color palette. It's not just one color on the sunglasses, but these are really, really nice. I like these a lot. And for Fendi sunglasses, this is really good. Next, we're gonna look at some handbags. So the first handbag is by Coach. This shape is something that we've seen recently, but I do like Coach's take on it. This is called the Canteen Leather Crossbody Bag. So it's a smaller bag. It's meant to be worn crossbody. And if you know about canteens, that's the whole take on the shape of it. And the reason I like this, this style better than some of the other ones is because we've been seeing this circular shape. We've seen the round bags, the camera bags, but I like the canteen shape because it's flat on the bottom. So it gives it a little more stability, it's sturdier, and you can sit the bag down without having to worry about it, you know, moving. So I really do like that. This one comes in two colors. It's like a muted blue. I don't want to say powder blue because it's really not a powder blue, but it's like a muted blue muted like pastel blue 
and then it comes in this mustard color I think both of these colors are really, really nice. It plays off the shape really well, um, and I do like this one a lot. This is $175, so that's really, really good for a trendy coach bag. I think under the $200 price point is pretty good for most people in terms of buying something trendy or buying something designer, even if it's not high-end and not feeling like you're overspending on something that tends to be trendy. And you can see where this bag hits. This is gonna be one of those like, grab and go bags when you just need to run out and you only need to take a few things this is the bag for that next up we have more of a carry-all type of bag so this could be your day-to-day -day bag when you're going to have all the stuff you need that you need to take with you this is definitely not a just grab and go bag this is by furla this bag is called the aura tote it comes in black it's 230 dollars and it has this quilted design which is still pretty popular right now but i like this take on it because it's a bigger bag and it's a shoulder bag, but you still get to play up that trend of that quilting. And this one, let's see here. Yeah, it only comes in the black at Nordstrom Rack. They probably have other colors elsewhere, but I also like that it has a little bit of chain detailing too, because that combination of that chain detailing and the quilting is really popular right now. And you get to play with both of those, but still have a practical bag that could that, that could definitely be your everyday bag. This could definitely be an everyday bag. And when you're talking about, you know, spending $230 for an everyday bag made by a really good reputable company, I think you should go for it. Now this next one is definitely trendy. Some of y'all gonna like it, some not. It's a pink bag, which I love it, but this is by Moschino. It's a crossbody bag, it's pink and it has the big M logo on it and all the detailing on this bag is gold. So gold and pink. I love it, love it, love it so much. Um, it's a crossbody, it can be worn as a crossbody and they call it, let me see, a crossbody bag, but you could also simply wear it as a shoulder bag and it will hit you depending on your height again, probably about um, right at your waist or maybe right on your hip. But this is a really cute fun bag. I think something like this would be really nice if you had on like, all neutrals and then you just added this pop of pink that's really pretty and this one is medium size so you can get your things in it you can definitely take it for a night out for a date um, for a brunch with you know the girls things like that it's not so small that you can't get everything you need in it but it's also not a giant everyday bag so you don't need to take every single thing and this one is four hundred and fifty dollars really really good price um, for this kind of bag by this designer and like i said nordstrom rack is going to have the trends and the affordability that you're looking for so i love this bag next up we have a mark jacobs bag and this is a play on the bucket bag trend this one's really nice it's gray and it's kind of a mini bucket bag it's not super super tiny but it's definitely not a big bucket bag I like the color of this one a lot, as well as the gold detailing and how that gold detailing plays with this color. And then they have the strap, which looks like nylon or like, um, what do I wanna say? It's not a leather strap, canvas or like nylon or something of that nature. And it has this black and white two-tone color palette with the strap. So I think that color of the two colors of the strap the unique color of the bag and then the gold hardware just play really well together and it gives the bag a really unique look. I like this one a lot. Um, even the grommets are gold. It's just really, really nice. This one is $180 and um, the back of it is gonna just be plain. So you don't have any other adornments, nothing else on it. When you look at the front of it, you're just gonna see the small logo, the Marc Jacobs logo in gold. And then you have the, the pool tie. But other than that, it's a really simplistically designed bag. Really, really nice, real cute. I like this one. And then we have one more bucket bag that I had to add to the list because I think it looks so nice and it's trendy and it's affordable and it's at Nordstrom Rack. So this one is called the Janae Bucket Bag. This is by Vince Camuto. You probably have heard of this brand before. They make shoes, bags, lots of accessories. And I really like how trendy this brand tends to be. I think it's one of the brands that gets overlooked, but it's really, really nice. This bucket bag is only $80. So if you look at this one in comparison to the Marc Jacobs we just looked at, very similar in terms of what you're gonna get styling wise. 
the shape of the bag, the bucket bag itself, the size of the bag, and it is $100 less. So I like this one a lot. The cream color is really, really pretty. It's like an off-white, so it's not anything that's too stark. And again, it has the flat bottom like the bucket bags tend to have, so you can sit it down. It's going to maintain some of its structure. And what I like about this one, too, is it has these little details on the side that are like, it's like little woven knots. And it looks like it's black and white, but it's not. It's all that white, not white, that like off-white colored leather. But it's just the way they've designed it. It gives you like another element of texture almost to a leather bag. So I like that about the bag a lot. Really, really cute bag. Real plain and simple. You know, not a lot of flashiness to it. The strap is completely leather and it does have the detachable strap on it. And then it also has the top handle. So you have some versatility there as well. And this bag, oh, I already said it, is $80. So I like this one a lot as well. Do not forget to check out my website, curatedcloset.com. We've got clothes and accessories for women. We also have some Valentine's Day new arrivals coming up soon. So if you wanna be notified, sign up for the email list and you will get an alert and a notification when those items go live. You will also be first in line to get notifications about any VIP discount, sales, etc. Remember to live well and look good doing it. And until next time, y'all, bye.